Brendan Rice, son of the great Jerry Rice, who has a gold jacket and didn't pay for it. But that's all I'm going to mention Jerry in this video, because it's time for Brendan to forge his own lane in the NFL. But let's talk about what the experts say about Brendan before we get to the tape and see if what the experts say is true. He has great hands, great instincts and awareness, good ball skills, works aggressively back to throws and scrambles, open for his receivers, or for his quarterback, because we know Caleb is his quarterback, and Caleb is a master outside of the pocket. He shows the ability to cut routes off sharper than most at different angles and at different times and at any time in the route. It doesn't allow to ba -da 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 and go. It's almost one step, then go. That's a great trait that Brennan has, and we're going to talk about his size in a minute. He outworks and outreaches opponents for 50-50 balls, and even though that don't show up in the numbers, you'll see some of that on tape. Brennan is a legit NFL prospect because of his size. Size. He's listed at 6'3", 210, not really 6'3", 6'2", and 3'8", and I think plays around 208 at the combine, but he has excellent size, good enough speed, and good enough route running. Let's transition to the tape to see what Brendan Rice has for the NFL. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And before we even get into Brendan, full disclosure, I had a back and forth with somebody. I don't know if it was on Twitter or in the comment section on here, but we were talking about Brendan Rice and how he would or would not be a fit for Baltimore. But that's the reason I'm kind of bringing you this film session because, you know, looking at the O-line, we're probably going to need a receiver later on if we don't go receive a first round. And he could or could not be a guy that maybe fits what Baltimore needs later on. So that's why you're getting this Brendan Rice film session right here. But let's kind of get into it. And if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you be notified when the rest of these videos drop. Draft season's coming up, and we're going to cover the draft here fully on day one and day two. So make sure you be here to, to get all the good content that's coming to you. But Brendan Rice. 6'2 and 3'8, 208. He was tied for ninth in college football with 12 touchdowns. But like on that first play, you really want to see him battle for the ball more. You want to see him help his quarterback out, you know, and get, you know, he don't necessarily have to make this crazy, crazy play, but just knock it down. It don't allow the, the DB to, to get it. But everything's the rest of it is positive. Again, 6'3, almost 6'3, 6'2. And three eights, 208. He was tied for ninth in college football with 12 TDs. He had 70 targets for 45 catches, 791 yards. He was using a slot a little bit, 12.6% of the time. Used out wide primarily, 86.8% of the time. He only had two drops in 2023, and that was 4.3%. His contested catches, he was 3 of 12, which brings that to 25%. And like on that first play, that was a contested catch, and he obviously failed on that one. But you really just want to see him just play DB on that, knock that ball down. 36 of his catches went for first downs. Uh, his RAS score was a 7.92 out of 10, which is okay. And, you know, when you look at RAS, the green and RAS is, is, is elite. The yellow is okay. And he was, pretty, for the most part, pretty much all yellow except for height. And, again, his height is 6'2 and 3 eighths. He had a 4'5'40" a 36.5 vert, and a 9.11 broad jump. So let's kind of get into some of the plays and talk about, um, you know, what I like about Brendan Rice. And this first play right here, a little quick out route. We talked about how fancy he gets out of his breaks. Looks no wasted steps in that break. He's down here at the bottom. He's at the bottom of your screen right here. There's no wasted steps. This is him. This is Brendan right here. There's no wasted steps in there. Bam. Foot in the ground. Out. Not a lot of chop, chop, chop. Turn out. Good speed out. No wasted movements. But you can all, as a quarterback, you can always appreciate that because you can throw the ball on time. Especially versus um off coverage. And Caleb gives it there enough, enough time for him to even catch the ball and get up the field. Now, watch this. We talked about, you know, before I came on with the film, how quick he separates in short routes and slants. Watch how much separation he gets from this DB 
initially, like right off the bat. Now, he's not going to catch this ball, but just watch the separation. He's at the bottom of your screen here. Just the initial separation, like he's super wide open off the second step. And remember, he's 6'2". Look at that. Look at that already. That's three or four steps in, and he has about four yards of separation already. Now, going across the back of the end zone, you know, had Caleb not been rushed by 18 people, should have been an easy touchdown. But just going back to the separation, off the ball, guys in press, he's going to get left immediately. Bam. He, he got the DB to, to jump outside, thinking it's fade. Watch the, watch the DB immediately jump outside, thinking fade. Because Rice is 6'2". He runs a slant on him. Look at that separation already. And accelerates across the back of the end zone. He gets a bad ball, but it's understandable. It's not his fault. On this one, again, Caleb is had to stay out of the pocket because that O-line wasn't great. He did a good job of just showing his numbers, finding open spots, and, and making himself available. Which, if he so happened to come to Baltimore, Lamar does this thing a lot too. He's at the top of your screen up there. Just stay in the open spot. Stay in open spots. Make yourself available. Just find a lane. Find a lane. It's, it's that simple. When you're in scramble drill, it's just that simple. Especially if the quarterback is scrambling to you. Just make yourself available. Stay in an open lane where the quarterback doesn't have to throw it through somebody. And that's a clear lane. It's a clear lane right there. See that? Clear lane. And obviously there's two people there, but you get what I'm trying to say. Made himself available. Nice catch. For a first down. That's one of those 36 catches that went for a first down. All right. You got a deep threat. Great tracking of the ball. Great adjustment. Easy touchdown. Easy touchdown. Got inside leverage on the cornerback. Same corner he kind of ran away from at the with the goal line. The corner kind of misjudges it. He adjusts to it, goes up and high points it, finishes. Finishes one of, with one of his 12 touchdowns. And that's what I got for you, man, with um, Brendan Rice. You got a kid that, you know, has some big shoes to fill, but I think as long as he just goes out there and does what he does and, you know, with his own capabilities, that that shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. He can go... And set his own mark in the NFL. He can be who he can be. Brendan Wright. He doesn't have to be, you know who. And can can have a good career, man. Six two, almost six three, two oh eight, four five forty. Um, good red zone target. Good routes. Uh, he can sustain and be a solid receiver. He can be somebody's number three and work his way to be a two, and maybe eventually be a number one. But I think he can be a good third, fourth round pick and. Be a solid, solid receiver in this deep receiver class. Somebody's going to get a steal out of this kid. And um, I wasn't a believer at first, but after going back and studying it, I, I, I like this kid, especially later on in the round. Now, this is Coach Evans coming to you with another film, and I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share. See y'all later. Peace.